Hey guys, I wanted to update you on how September was. And I know, I, I swear, I know I say this every month, but look at the videos. Every month I'm getting busier. So, but this was the busiest month ever. And it was because I had 17, 18 auditions. Um, I say 17 because one of them my manager submitted me to and showed my materials and I booked that student film. So I'm like, yes, praise God, but I didn't have to go in and audition. I didn't have to film anything. So I'm like, does it count as an audition? I don't think it should, but technically 18 or 17, so I don't know. But yeah, that's a lot, a lot, a lot. And even one of the days was probably the busiest day of my life for acting where I had four auditions in one day. Yeah, don't wish that upon anyone. I mean, I mean, maybe people want that, but I was so physically stressed and drained that I, I didn't even really get up the next day. I was just in bed laying because I was so achy and tired. Probably because one of them was a workout like audition and that exhausted me too. But yeah, I had, was running around everywhere because one needed gym equipment, so I had to go um, somewhere for that. And then one was an in-person audition and then one was with a friend, so I had to go to his place. So I was just like, oh, I'm so like running around everywhere and it took over 11 hours to get it all done. So I was just like, y'all, I'm not a fan of that. But I mean, what a blessing too. That's like a great problem to have. And I'm really thankful for all these doors that God is opening. And yeah, I also, this month, I think had my biggest uh, theatrical audition I've ever done, which is, it was for a, um, a feature film, like an independent one that was non-union and would film in another state. And it was for like one of the leads um, of many, cause it was like a horror film. But, um, yeah my manager wanted me to get private coaching on it and so this was the first time i was like investing more in an audition um because they're not cheap it's like you know about 100 150 bucks for private um coaching but by the grace of god i had already got a free voucher um for private coaching um, from my agent uh, during a raffle at the beginning of the year so I had one praise God and um, yeah it was so helpful it was um, with Judy Kane from keep it real acting and it was so helpful and it helped me dig into the character in new ways in the scene like in new ways I hadn't thought so it was so helpful and then my friend Samantha Panu helped me to record it and she, we spent four hours on it. I felt so bad, but I was really thankful for her that she was willing to help commit till we got the, the um, takes that we needed and it turned out really good. I just get so nervous when it's, um, yeah, a, a high stakes audition that it took me a while to loosen up. So I was really thankful for that. We also played a lot and also, um, it was such a rush that the lines weren't fully there, so I was struggling a little with that. But yeah, really thankful um, for yeah Samantha and just uh, this opportunity, because yeah, it's it's crazy to see where God has um, brought me from the beginning of the year till now and where I'm at and how busy I am and, and the kinds of auditions I'm doing. So God is moving, and it's I'm really thankful and. Um, yeah, it's also been busy because I started discipling someone at church this month and um, it was, so discipling is like mentoring, but like a spiritual sort of mentorship where I am encouraging her to seek after the Lord, walk in her faith and um, grow deeper in intimacy with the Lord. So we do like Bible studies together and I show her like how I dig into the word and, and how I spend time with the Lord. and. Um, just encouraging her and and just teaching her what God has taught me and it's been really good really fruitful and in a blessing um, yeah I'm just very busy because on top of that I also was taking classes um, and for a while it was two classes because I was just about to finish up uh, my intermediate uh, improv at Groundlings but I also started um, last acting studio classes. 
So, um, yeah, Groundlings, I did my final um, performance at the end, and we get judged if we can pass and go to advanced, or we have to retake. And unfortunately, I have to retake, but it is pretty common to have to retake, so it's okay. Like, I was going to retake it anyway because I wanted to get stronger in building characters and creating characters. So um, it's fine, but I was hoping to not have that on my mind, like, oh, I need to pass, or like, I need to try and pass. Um, but it's okay, like, I have no regrets. I did, I felt like I did strong characters, and if I work on them even more and get them more specific, it, they'll only get better. So yeah, I'm excited for that. In the future, I'm gonna take a little break and try and get scholarship money. Um, I yeah last acting studio classes my teacher was Patrick and he's really cool I think it was a very safe supportive place for me which I need because I'm already super self-conscious about my acting um, but yeah it was really fun to explore and try the scenes in new ways that help you to um, discover things that you wouldn't have usually done in the scene maybe and and it was yeah, it helped me to be way more creative in the scene instead of just like initial thought and just keep going. Um, Patrick said, you know, you don't really go with your initial thought because it's based off stereotypes um, and generalities when, you know, we want to make a human with there's complexities and, and different angles and different things. And I was like, that's right, actually. Like, I've always sort of like, whatever I think at first, that's what I want to do and I want to make it perfect that way. But it's like, no, let's make it more rich and in-depth. And and so I really like the classes there. Um, yeah, I'm going to be continuing on, but I'm not free on Saturdays, so I'm going to have to do it with a new teacher on Thursdays, and we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, this month, really good, really blessed. Um, had fun little things like birthday parties, whether it's for my boss who didn't have many parties growing up and just being able to celebrate her or celebrating my friend's um, babies. One year birthday was super exciting. Um, and then also just celebrating. Um, we had, after that, we had um, a worship uh, night where we were actually writing the music, like trying to come together and, and put together based off scripture a song that we could sing to the Lord and give glory for and that was really fun like to see everyone just thinking ideas and using the gifts and skills that the Lord has given us to create something I really like that so yeah I think that was my month pretty much very busy and it's gonna continue on because I have a lot to do my place still needs to be unpacked more. I got a good amount done, but then because I was so busy, I didn't get as much done. Um, and I need to finish my taxes before October 15th, so pray for me. Okay, yep, that's everything. How was your guys' September? I'd love to know about it and how I can be praying for you. Okay, bye guys.